Hello everyone, welcome to this YouTube channel. I am Preeti, currently working in TS Info Technologies as a Power Platform Specialist. Recently, I joined in this Enjoy SharePoint YouTube channel team. Since I work with a variety of technologies including SharePoint and the Power Platform that includes Power Apps, Power Automate, Power BI, etc. So I thought I would share my knowledge and experience with everyone through this channel. In this today's video tutorial, I am going to explain about how to filter a Power Apps gallery with various examples like how we can filter power ups gallery by SharePoint text field and as well as choice field. How to filter power ups gallery based on a text input control. And the finally, we will see how to filter a power ups gallery based on multiple text input control. But before that, what is power ups gallery control filter? In power ups, a gallery filter is a feature that allows you to refine the items displayed within a gallery based on specific conditions. So I have created some demo in my Power Apps application. I will show you, but before that, let me show you the SharePoint list data source that I have created. So this is my car rental services SharePoint list name, where you can see car name is my title column by default and the car type color car image seats. This is various type of columns like a choice column and image column and the seats is a number column. So let now we will filter out the gallery control based on this SharePoint column. So this is my application that I've already created. First, I will tell you the functionalities and then I will implement one by one. So here in the left side, you can see power ups filter gallery based on text column. That is, I'm uh, filtering the power ups gallery manually. And here, no need to use any control for filter out the gallery. The same thing, the right side, you can see how we can filter the power ups gallery based on the SharePoint choice column. And the next, I will show you uh, how you can uh, filter the power ups gallery according to the search input. In the search input, you can see, you can search by car name, you can search by car type, you can search by car color and as well as the seats. So whenever you will search something, suppose I will search gray color, then the, the, gallery, the gallery will filter according to that particular color. Suppose I will search the car name, so the gallery will filter according to that. Same is uh, the same thing. Whenever you will uh, search something semi automatic, the car type uh, transmission, and uh, the gallery will filter according to that. Third example, I will show you. Whenever you will search something in the text input control, whether car name, car type, and seats, the gallery will filter according to this multiple text input control. Suppose I will search something BMW and the car type you can see uh, in one search only it is displaying sometimes uh, maybe people don't want to uh, the data source filtered by all these three fields all the time in that case it's not like to uh, like uh, yield much so according to that it will filter the gallery so if i will search car type then automatic transmission then the gallery will filter according to that if i will remove this one also if uh, you will search only the car type, then the gallery will filter according to that. So now let me implement all these things step by step. So for that, I will take a new screen, new blank screen, and uh, I will insert a one vertical control, whether you can add vertical control or else you can add horizontal uh, control, uh, horizontal gallery control according to your needs. And uh, but first of all, you need to connect that SharePoint list data source over here. So once you will connect it, you can uh, add the gallery control over here. And uh, you can here you can see the data sources, car rental services. Once I will uh, add the data source, you can see all the records over here. But and I want to filter out this gallery control according to my needs. Uh, for that reason, what I can do. The first thing, the first example, I will show you how you can filter out the power ups gallery based on the SharePoint text field. It means I will take a SharePoint title column as my car name. So I will filter out this power ups gallery according to that. For that, we need to use filter function. So filter and you need to specify the car rental services, your list name. And uh, you need to specify like uh, title and uh, equal to, you need to provide the like uh, value over it i mean which i mean uh, what record you want to filter out in power ups gallery you can see it is filtering manually uh, that audi as i pass the value is audi so it is filtering according to that 
after that you can uh, design your gallery according to your need you can see in the right side lot of properties are there gallery properties according to that you will uh, filter out suppose i want to uh, give color some color so i can give the color like this suppose i want to uh, big i mean we want to uh, increase the font size so i can increase by this font size and again the subtitle if i want to uh, increase the font size then you can do it by using this so that is the first example the gallery is filtering out according to the sharepoint text column now what you will do suppose you want to filter out this power apps gallery according to the car type car type means here you can see in the sharepoint list car type is choice column automatic transmission manual transmission if you want to um filter out the gallery according to the car type so what you will do instead of title you need to put that car type uh, column here and as it is a choice column you need to provide the value and within that you need to specify what type of uh, uh, car type you want to filter out so automatic transmission if i will put it the gallery will, it will filter out according to the automatic transmission so this is all about uh, filtering the power apps gallery based on sharepoint text field and as well as the choice field now the next example i will tell you how you can filter out the gallery based upon the text input control so here i will add one text input control you can see here i added this text input control i and uh, i will make it blank the default property i will make it blank here you can rename the text input control txt search so i want a user whenever a user will enter the car type over here then the gallery will filter out so for this i need to put another code i will comment this code and i will um, add another code like this so this is my filter and car rental services is my set point list car type is my choice column and txt so you need to put txt search whatever the text input control so you need to put that name if you will if i will preview the section and if i will something i will search like continuously continuously variable transmission type so it will it will show you i mean the gallery will filter according to your uh, search and it will show you the filtered records so this is like uh, how you can uh, search with uh, singles i mean single column now uh, as i told you here I want to search car name car type color and seats in the same uh, text input control then the code will be different so so come to that uh, screen and uh, just uh, uh, select the uh, gallery's item property and then i will write another code but before that i need to comment that uh, this code and here you can see this is the code for uh, how you can filter out uh, multiple columns in a single text field so here you can see txt search is my input control name and uh, title is my uh, single line of text field car type is my choice column but uh, you need to put proper text input control name over here but the thing is here you can see here one delegation warning issue is coming like it is telling the highlighted part of this formula might not work correctly with column title on large data sets that means if your data source has lot of records that means in that case it might not work the filter will not work so for that reason what you will do you need to create a power ups collection either in apps on start property or maybe screens on visible property and then instead of this list data source you uh, you just replace that uh, collection name over here so let me tell you in the screen uh, one go to the visible property of this screen and you, you need to write a code for the uh, create a collection so clear collect and uh, just give some name of that collection so clear uh, call car details and then you need to put the your uh, specific list name so now the collection is created already 
so is you are putting an uh, instance on visible property so just go to over here in the items property of the gallery control and instead of this you just put that thing like uh, your collection name call car details now you can see the delegation warning is not coming like we overcome that and once i will preview that thing i mean once i will preview uh, this application whether you search your seat number whether you search your car number sorry car name and uh, if you search like uh, any car type then everything it will uh, filter out i mean uh, based upon these columns the gallery will filter out um, and display the proper result so this is all about how you can filter out your power ups gallery according to the single text input control next i will show you how you can filter out your power ups gallery according to the multi text input control so for the multiple text input control i will take two more input text input control one is already there uh, maybe it is you can uh, uh, rename it's like txt only name and uh, two more sorry it is there so you need to um, i mean uh, take another name txt search name so here you can uh, put any of the text i mean car name so same thing you need to uh, just copy and paste two more uh, text input control this one and an another one so this is for let's say this is for uh, your car name this text input is control is for your uh, car type and this control uh, this text input control is your car seats number so let's say uh, i mean you just rename all those things uh, sorry ha huh. so txt search type you can say and this one you can say txt search uh, seats okay so it is sorted and uh, comes to the gallery's item property and uh, i will comment this one and i will put uh, the code for all these three things i mean how you can filter out the gallery according to three input fields so this is the code for like how you can filter out according to the uh, multiple text input controls according to that you need to give your uh, uh, text input control name and here you can give txt search type here you can see txt search type and here you can give for seats txt search seats so here this code specifies like this is your search point list and if you will search by title car type and car seats then only the gallery will filter out if you will search both three things i mean at a time then only the gallery will filter suppose i will search the car name is alpha romeo and uh, it is like if i will search semi automatic transmission and uh, the third one if i will search for then only the gallery will filter if you will search for particular uh, two things i mean if you will search only car name and the seats then the gallery will not filter sometimes you don't want that data source filtered by all these three fields all the time so in that case i need to I write another code in gallery's item property that is that is i will comment this code and uh, i will write another code for this so this is the code like uh, where you can um, i mean you can see if it is not blank then uh, like uh, the condition will be true if the search type will be not blank then the condition will be true i mean it will filter out uh, whatever you want and as well as the seats as the seats is a number field that's why we need to put the value function and then uh, your text input control name dot text and it, that condition will be true so now you can see again the delegation warning is coming it's saying like if part of this formula might not work correctly on large data sets that means if your data set has lot of uh, uh, records then in that case it won't work so for this reason also Uh, like uh, you need to create a collection on screens on visible property or apps on start property then you need to put uh, that collection name over here as i already created uh, before some time so i am giving the same uh, collection name over here now you can see 
that ligation warning uh, issue is not coming and uh, just uh, preview the app and if you search something like audi and uh, if you will search 5 or 7 like this the gallery will filter out accordingly here no need to put or no need to search all the three input controls or uh, just whenever you will search by uh, one thing i mean whenever you will enter any value in any of the control then the gallery will filter out like this so this is all about how you can filter out the power ups gallery control according to the multiple text input control like this and you can design your gallery control according to your needs I have written the full article in spguides.com. You can visit this uh, site and uh, the full article is there. You can just follow it. I will provide the article link in the below description box. If you really like this video, then kindly share and subscribe our YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you and have a nice day.